welcome to NPB's Q1 Global Asset Allocation Views. So what are the highlights? Well, we reduce our cash exposure to neutral as we see better opportunities elsewhere. With that cash, we upgrade equities. This really is a reflection of our preference for Asian and GCC equities, where we see both valuation and growth support. Other changes are that we upgrade commodities to neutral from underweight. We're more comfortable now with the commodity valuation, and we have a preference for industrial metals like copper. Another key change is that we downgrade alternatives and real assets. This is driven by the fact that the sell-off that we've seen in public markets, in our opinion, has not been reflected within the private markets. And finally, we still remain overweight fixed income, choosing to be up in quality and be in the shorter end of the yield curve. So what's our view within equities? Yes, valuations have come down as interest rates have risen, but are they low enough given that earnings expectations still could be too high in an environment where there's slowing growth and still rising costs? It is our view that valuations could remain vulnerable. And for this reason, we remain neutral across developed market equities. Yes, we've upgraded European and German equities to neutral, but this is more a reflection of the fact that things could be less bleak than expected. So where do we like? Well, we see opportunities within Asian equities, particularly China. Here you have valuation support, as well as relatively high growth expectations. And the catalyst to the market is the U-turn that you've seen within the government policy, both on the zero COVID front, as well as the fiscal support. It seems now that the government is prepared to do whatever it takes to get the economy rolling again. Yes, there are question marks and challenges to the manufacturing sector and to the property market, but an area of momentum and where we're particularly excited is within the consumer, which should be a major beneficiary to the opening up of the Chinese economy. We also like Indian equities in the medium term, however mindful that valuations may have got ahead of themselves. Yes, Indian equities have always traded at a premium to peers, emerging market peers. However, they've only been more expensive 5% of the time, and we therefore are more cautious on this market and move down to neutral. And finally, we are positive on the GCC market. Here you have reasonable valuations, attractive dividend streams, as well as transformational growth plans. Furthermore, it is our belief that there's going to be increased IPO and corporate activity, which again should improve the breadth and depth of the market. And so what are the notable changes within our fixed income and currency allocation? Well, we upgrade sovereign bonds to overweight, as we think that you're now getting paid attractive yields in an environment where policy rates are likely to be peaking. And this is in line with our up in quality view and why we like investment grade bonds. And finally, on the currency side, we downgrade the dollar to underweight. We think that the key drivers of the dollar are softening and given its lofty valuation, this is now a time to turn more negative on the greenback.